AI is extremely valuable when it comes to organizing our notes. It can structure our thoughts and rambles, process our meeting notes, clean up our writing, automatically add backlinks and tags to our notes, and fill in information or any gaps that we have in our notes in terms of knowledge that we might be missing. So I'm going to walk you through how to do each of these with some examples. Now let's start by structuring our thoughts and rambles. This one is particularly valuable if you take voice notes. And that's what this is here. It's a voice note that I took as actually I was falling asleep last night. So it's probably might be a little bit bizarre, but <laughs> uh, it was just a concept I was thinking about how each section of our lives, we're kind of devoting our lives to one main point of focus and the importance of being conscious of what that focus is. So this was just a generally just a thought that I had. So I might want to turn it into an article outline ordinarily, but let's say for this case, I just want to kind of hang on to the key concepts of the idea. So I'm going to pull up the AI palette editor using command J and I'm going to ask it to list the key takeaways. And it's going to start running this prompt here and it's being instructed to just list it out in bullet points. And this prompt is a system prompt, which means that it already exists within Reflect if that's what you are using to take notes. You don't need to do any kind of custom prompt for this, but as you can see, it's quite good. I'm going to choose to replace the text with that. And now I just have these nice clean bullet points that I could reference, turn into a unique note, uh, really anything. And you might have also seen that I had one there that said list the key takeaways very detailed. That's just running the same prompt. I created a custom one that instructed the AI to list it out in a bit more detail. All right, let's go on to processing our meeting notes. Now, this prompt is a custom one, and it's a favorite one of mine. It was developed by one of the Reflect users to as an executive assistant for calls on meetings. So. What I've done here is I've taken a couple bullet points of what happened on the call. Those are usually things that I will write down as they're happening, things that I want to remember, just really important points. And then once the call's over, I will record a short audio memo that's maybe 30 seconds to a minute long. And I just kind of describe what happened on the call, uh, what I need to do afterwards, et cetera. So what I'm going to do is highlight all of this, pull up the palette editor again, and pull up this executive assistant command. So let's open up the custom prompt while it runs and see what it's doing here. Oops, missed it. So they've got a format here that the AI is going to match. So it's being instructed that, that it's an executive assistant and it needs to create markdown lists. And it's got some other stuff in there, but it's, there's a couple categories. There's the key meeting takeaways. So that's at least three items that happen on the call. My action items, so these are things that I need to do once the call is over, listed as bullets or to-do list items there. Uh, other people's action items, just a simple list, and the next steps after the call. Now, if I go down and look at this, I have these nice organized meeting notes. So I'm going to replace them in there. And then you see you just have this beautiful outline of the meeting as if an actual executive assistant took it. So... We have the key meeting takeaways here. We have the action items that I actually need to do, the other people action items, and again, the next steps. So if you're someone that is a team lead or even just has a lot of meetings, this is very, very valuable. Um, and again, I guess I should mention the custom prompt part. So if you don't have that created yet, you can open up any one of these here and pull down the custom prompt. Uh, this one's already custom, so I can edit it already. If it's a system prompt, you'll first need to clone it and give it a new title and then put whatever description you want in there and click save and you'll be good to go. All right. And now let's have AI clean up our writing. So this one I use a lot if I'm typing out notes on my mobile device, which typically I make a lot of errors in. So this is kind of an example that I wrote out here and as you can see, it's not very well written. Excuse me. There's lots of abbreviations and um, incomplete words, grammar mistakes, etc. So again, pull up the AI editor and I will type in copy to have it act as a copy editor. 
And again, it will run. This one shouldn't take very long because it's pretty short text, but you can see how it improved the text. It added some punctuation. It filled in the word that I wanted. It capitalized what would need to be. Uh, so again, if I just replace this, now I have this very well written note of what happened. So you can use this to take notes pretty quickly and recklessly on your mobile device or even just typing and then have the copy editor speed it up afterwards. And I should also mention that that one is also a system prompt, so you won't need to clone and customize that one. All right, let's move on to what might be my favorite one currently. So automatically adding in backlinks and tags to our notes. So this goes back to the concept of network note taking, where you want to backlink all entities. So people, places, things, projects, pretty much anything that starts with a capital letter. And in Reflect, you backlink by highlighting and doing uh, two brackets, and then it will let you create a note there. Although I don't want to create a note out of that button here. So this is a custom prompt where I can select any text here, pull up the AI assistant, and I can have this custom prompt that automatically adds backlinks. And what it's going to do here is it's going to add those double brackets in front of everything that seems like it's an entity. So here it's got Boulder, which is a town, and Barbara, who is my fiance, a name that it's going to do. So if I replace the text in here, currently it only has, um, oops, I missed it there. It uh, doesn't automatically add in the backlinks, but if I wanted to, I could just click into this and click Boulder, convert that to a backlink. Barbara, that's already a name in there that I have here. Um, so you can see that it does, in fact, automatically kind of add the brackets, but you still have to click in to add the backlink. This is something that we're actually going to fix uh, shortly. It's in the works currently. So soon you will just be able to run this prompt and it will automatically backlink everything. Now we can also do something similar with tags. So let's go back up to my meeting notes here. And I'm going to highlight all of this. And I'm going to pull up one of my other new favorite custom prompts, which is suggest a few tags. And I find this is something that people struggle with because tags are, well, you have to think about them pretty consciously to organize your notes. So here I have a custom prompt that has it read the text and suggest three different tags and put them in here. So here I have meeting notes, business strategy, and action items. Meeting notes, it was a meeting, and that's pretty good. I can feasibly see myself wanting to pull up a list of my meeting notes. Business strategy, that's not really that great. Action items might be a good one, too. Maybe I just want to pull up a list of all of my notes with my action items. So you can also, once you know all the tags you have, I would recommend going into this custom prompt and just list out all the tags that you have so it has them to choose from and it's not inventing new ones. That's probably the best way to actually run the tagging prompt. All right, and finally, let's go into filling missing information. So uh, this is just a hypothetical note I took of something that I might need to do today. Today, I need to go pick up my family at the airport, but I need to find out how long it takes to drive from Estes Park, Colorado, where I'm currently staying, to Denver International Airport. So again, I'm going to highlight this, and I'm going to have it answer the questions. So this is another custom prompt that I've built that instructs the AI to search through the text and find any missing information and then answer it. So here I can see that the drive from Estes Park, Colorado to Denver International Airport takes about an hour and 40 minutes with traffic. And I did look that up today. That's actually very accurate. So I'm going to have it insert this below. And I could even invent this if I want to make it organized. I could turn this into a shorter summary. I could really do whatever. So. Um, as you can see through these examples, we can kind of go from having just a massive rambled text to having these nice organized notes. And there's a lot more ways you could organize it with AI too. As you can kind of see here, you can just come up with whatever format you would like, instruct the AI how to match that format, and then just execute it on any of the notes that you have. 